Hi, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be a possible how to test and repair video. Maybe we'll see how things go. On this is a Gallagher Smart Skill 200. It's an older oh, Focus. It's a uh, older scale that Gallagher doesn't make anymore. They it's been replaced twice over twice already with the W210. Now that's been phased out and replaced by by the W W O scale, but our website is cattlescalerepair.com. We work on low bars and scales for Gallagher and True Test and some other brands. We also work on electric fence boxes of uh, all sorts of brands and ages of those things. Fencerfixer.com is our website there. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos on these things, so let's read the note here and see what the story says. Weight jumps around on way bars. Needs a new battery. Charger if a battery and battery needs new battery charger if available. I did notice that they got this uh, uh, battery charger plugs in right there, but they've got these spade connectors on there. Let's see if those are unplug. Hopefully. Okay, they were just kind of pressed on there. I think we can come up with a battery charger for them. I think we can make make one. See if it comes on at all. It does, but it's really faint. It shuts off. Okay, well let's um oh, god dang. I got this uh this is a mounting bracket to put it on the wall with. Let me see if I can Knock that off just so I can lay it flat. Alright, so we're going to take this scale apart here. Alright, battery hides. That's okay. Battery hides right up here. It's behind the board. First thing I do, I unplug the battery. That way, there's no stray voltage floating around. And unplug the battery charge cable off. And then we'll go ahead and unplug the board. This, these are your two uh, connectors that the low bars plug into on the side. That's where they plug in right there. That's the original battery. How old is this thing? It is a 2003 model. Serial number is at bottom number 0324. So it's the 24th week of 2003 is when this is, was built. So it's saying it's 17 year old battery. So I'm sure it's uh, well past its due date of being replaced. That came right out. That was nice. All right, let me. Um, a new battery right here. Basically the same thing, maybe a little bit. Thinner or a little longer, but that's right battery. Now we'll put some double sided foam on it to keep it in place. The later scales have got like the 210s and the 610s and stuff like that. They've got a little bracket thing that lays across it, screws to it, it holds the battery in place. And now the newer scale, they use a totally different battery setup, not even close to what this one is. Um, Not these pre-cut double-sided tape things. And we're just going to set it in there. That holds all the battery in place. Now let's put this board back in there. We're going to plug these two cables in first. And we'll plug the charge cable in. Come on. And then we will plug this battery in last. Of 
All right, the buttons for the switch is right here. Let's see if it comes on. Oh, yeah, a lot brighter, too. All right. So, that's good. So, we'll go ahead and put the lid back on. Alright, still's done except for the battery charge thing. Um, throw away their old battery. Only thing I'm going to keep off of it is this. Every once in a while, we'll need a, we'll need the connector because uh, it got corroded on the other battery, so you can't buy just a connector. So I save those if I get one. Put it up here on a little cubby hole. All right, let's see if what we got for. Uh, connector that will plug into there let me see what we got here all right I get it I can get a new battery charger for it but I can probably also just make them one up so I've got the connector here should plug in right like that and tighten up so I don't know what I've got for 12 volt supplies of some sort. Let me do a little looking around here real quick. Uh, I've got this cable here and it's the right um, yeah, it's the right amperage and voltage so what we'll do is we'll uh, see how long this cable is. I gotta figure out first is what's positive negative because I don't know let's uh, plug this into the socket bring over a little multimeter and put it on DC volts all right, it's got a smooth wire and a ribbed one. So I think the ribbed is a negative, positive. Nope, other way around. It looks like smooth is positive, black is is a uh -huh. there. A positive number. About 14 volts. plug it so it looks like smooth wire is negative and the red one is positive so let's cut this back just a little bit because I don't think we're going to need that much let me get my handy dandy third hand hold this thing for me Let's um, get this apart. Let's see. All 
little bitty screw. Don't want to lose that. I'm gonna get this apart. Okay, it's being stubborn. that to go up inside there. Come on. There we go. Let's loosen that up. Okay, let's um, well, let's get number one and number two stamped on the back of this. I don't know what's what's what. Let's just do a educated guess. To add solder to each one of these little tabs here. Okay. All right. Oh, I said the rib was positive, so that's this one right here. Let's just see what happens when we do this. And then we'll flip it around. And we'll just try to heat those two up like that. Screw still there. Let's um, let's put this plug this in. Let's plug this in here and see what happens. Oh, we did it right. Charge charge indications going up, so we did that right. Good, good. And plug that. All right, so let's slide this up. Screw. This has got to go on up a certain way because there's a little screw thing that's got to line up perfectly.
there's that. Put the little bitty tiny freaking screw in his little hole. Tighten it up. I'm going to tighten this up. Alright, just to make sure it didn't mess nothing up. Plug this back into here. Plug it back into the outlet. There we go. Alright, so this scale is done. So I do have a set of load cells here I need to go through, so we'll make a separate video on those. So hopefully you like this kind of stuff. If you got an old Gallagher scale or a new scale that needs to be worked on, Look us up, cattlescalerepair.com, and there's our address. And we also, like I said, we also work on electric fence equipment, fencerfixer.com, 